Hey guys, it's Ben. Uh, welcome back to Croc 2. In the last part, we spent so long on that one stage, and in this part, we're going to be doing the final stage of the game. <laughs> technically. No. Not technically. Literally. Machine something something powder now makes strange noises and flashes in the sky, and the inventor isn't here to turn it off. Croc will go turn it off. The inventor. That's something that they, br they bring up. The inventor. Who is this inventor? Anyway, this music is probably one of my favorites, if not the favorite. As long as I don't mess up any of the clockwork gobbos, I'll be okay. Thank goodness they put that gummy there, it's like, oh yeah, if you don't have the gummy, then go get one. By this stage, then they expect you to do everything, because, you know, they're expecting you to do the ground, the ground pound jump. In order to just get up places. But I like this stage a lot just because you gotta get up lots of cliffs and stuff. Oh, you gotta get up lots of cliffs and stuff, and that's that's one of the I love just those progressive stages. The stages that really do feel like you're making And again, what's with the different enemies? I keep throwing all these different enemies at me. And also this is probably one of the no, you still gotta get golden gobbos from the ending stages. Well, in the ending stages, you're forced to do them all at once. But technically, it's like three stages. So I'm not entirely sure where to end off parts and stuff. I, I guess I'll end off parts when the crystal counter resets, because that's when the different stage comes up. But you're not entirely sure when that happens. I think maybe the as well. Music. Who made this music? I, I really want to give him good props. And the cave music's pretty cool too. Oh yeah, the snakes. They also swing a bit slower. That's one thing to know. Yeah, the frog's a bit slow. Because that's how people swim, they just keep jumping out of the water. Anyway, I like these green platforms, they're kind of nice looking, besides the fact that the cracks aren't actually on the texture. <laughs> so, so those, those X's, that's not the texture. Raft. No reason. I don't know why you could just look through the channel, maybe it's too slow. Oh gosh. No, don't mess this up, okay? Alright. This is like the pre-golden gobbo, if you, you don't want to mess that up. Oh, that was the annoying thing as well. Because if you go for 100 crystals, that just... That, that goes away really quickly. Anyway, so now we're even higher up than before, which is cool, and we've got finally one of those boxes again. And not in an annoying place, it's just kind of like there. Why did I say finally? I hate those boxes. Ah, oh, crap. Whoa. Sure. I'll, I'll stand here. You gotta do a ground pound jump. Again with those ground pound jumps. But I really do like this stage. As I keep saying over and over again. It's it's a very fun stage. Now don't get thrown off. Like he he will literally jump there. Oh crap. I will literally just jump right there. Oh crap. And don't fall here either. The camera's going, oh my gosh, did you just fall? Hold on, I, I am shocked. The camera's just going like that. Uh, but anyway, yeah. It... No, seriously, the camera's still kind of freaking out. It's like... Ah, there you go. It's like, oh, thank goodness. 
camera's going like, oh, what? <laughs> Is there a section you can jump here? Nope. Three crystals. Crap! 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 <laughs> the spikes are rather low, aren't they? The trickiest jumps in the game. It's strange, considering there's still quite a lot left of the game. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, I was totally on that. There's still quite a fair amount of the game left. It's just that it's the last world, technically. And if you're gonna be complaining, it's like, oh, well, Croc 1 had six stages to seek. Ah, crap! Croc 1 had six stages, two secret stages in each world, so that's. So that's 32. Ah! Oh, goodness sake! Why am I messing up on this jump? Out of everything else, even not even Roger Red Ant. Not even the box right after it. Ah. Well, I'm okay taking the hit there. Rather than... Um. Is there on the back of the game they advertise that it's got more than over 40 stages of this game? I think the first game had about like, you're gonna count the boss levels and 45 stages in the game. And pretty much most of them will count the stages, I guess, yeah. Holy crap, you need two of them! It's the first stage where you need two of an item. And holy crap, I brought one. Oh, actually. What am I kidding? I haven't used one yet, jeez. What am I thinking? I am brain dead right now, I'm sorry. My, my mind is going like, oh gosh, I got exams and whatnot coming up. Got it. Well, thankfully the stage is almost over. Do, 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 do. Okay, and there we go. Where's the golden gobbo? Where's the golden gobbo? Uh, golden gobbo is over there. Now, hopefully, this won't be too tough. Crap. You saw how much fun I had on the first one. Gosh. It's not that I hate the swing, it's just. It's just that, like, I'm so timid, because if I press it at the wrong time, I fall, and then I have to start this whole stage again. That's, that's just what the, what the <laughs> really awkward part is. It's not that it's difficult, it's kind of difficult, but, but like, if you know how to swing, and considering that, we've been playing for, how many hours, actually? We've only really played for about, like, four or so hours. These games aren't too long. Considering that you're collecting tons of stuff in them. Aha! Box! Uh, but yeah. And hopefully we can get those last crystals. Have a nice, good job aiming for the crystals. I don't know where all the crystals are on that other stage, by the way. Here we are. There you go, full health. Now, do not fall, whatever you do. There's the machine of all of this down the machine. And you just gotta stand on the convenient switch. And then it explodes to the machine! And there you go. That's both of the stages done, which means. Doors are open to the inventor's workshop. You're big and brave. Can you go in? What do you mean? It's just the inventor. Huh? <laughs> what? Buzzing getting louder. Hope Croc hasn't been eaten. <laughs> Goodbye. And now we get led on to find a boss. Huh. 
Wait, well, anyway, wait, now you're on a plane and now you shoot things. I think you gotta shoot the bombs, mate. Oh no, he's throwing the bombs. He's not throwing them, he's making them appear on the top of the screen. Take a look. You don't wanna hit the bomb. I think you gotta hit the glowing power thing. He doesn't make any sounds when he gets hit, by the way. You just gotta hit the glowing thing on him, and then you just fly past him. You know what I don't understand? This boss, and first of all, his eye patch isn't working, because you can see the rest of his eye there, which he supposedly stole at the end of the first game. But why the heck is he on a mountain? I mean, like, why the heck? First of all, how does Croc know he's here? Second of all, how does... Why is he on this mountain? Why does he go down the mountain? He's obviously a lot bigger than it now. Oh. Why does he have so many bombs? I hit the hit the target thing up. The angle's a bit weird, but you can figure it out. I don't understand this boss. Like, where does it come from? I understand where you get the plane from, I just don't understand where you find him. And also, I don't understand why he throws bombs at you, because you fly faster on the other side. You can really see the seams between the skybox, I mean, seriously. This is probably the most obvious skybox in any video game. It's literally like a couple of things sticking out of the ground, and, just, and the guy just sitting on one. He's not even holding it on one side. Oh gosh, you can point out so many graphical flaws with this, and in fact, it's not a terribly fun boss. I don't exactly know why it's even, like, here, really. I think they should have probably removed this boss. I mean, I know they're doing different stuff, but considering- Oh, I could have just climbed down. Anyway!